This week's proud sponsor of the episode are our good friends at Stevenson Financial Advice. Great guys who look after all your financial advice needs, be it a mortgage, equity release, life insurance, pensions, or just investment advice. Quote PG and DAC to receive free mortgage advice. Enjoy the episode. Alright everybody, welcome to the first vlog of the new season. We're down at Mar Hall to see Darvo training. After just missing out on promotion last season, after losing to Trinidad in the playoffs, they were so unlucky. But we're going to go down, we'll see what the boys are up to tonight. I don't imagine it'll be an old school pre-season, I don't think it's their style. And in fact the guys only had a couple of weeks off. So let's get into this episode, let's see what they're getting up to. We'll maybe get a wee chat with Mick and maybe a player or two later on. Enjoy. <laughs> By South, everybody knows Southie. Guest on, I think we were saying a third best viewed episode. Many moons ago. Many moons ago. I was just after Sai, wasn't it? It was, I. I was still like you were riding on the wave yet. <laughs> so, pre season started, you lost to our United the other night, but first game against a championship side. How's things been looking? It's been decent. The boys have come back in good order. Having said that, they've only had two and a half weeks off, to be honest with you, so it's been good. We've just kept it short and sharp as possible. Plenty of the ball, um, now we're going to start ramping up a wee bit, we've had that week, that week's grace um, and that game against the United during the week. That was something I was going to ask, because I'd said it on, um, I think it was Twitter I said it on, that you just wouldn't need a proper old school pre-season. Do you think you will be doing a wee bit of running tonight or, because the boys will be pretty sharp still. I said, aye, they're, they're in good condition, to be honest with you, they're in very good condition. Um, I think for us it's just been topping it up. Um, what we want to be fitter this year, we can always be better, that's one thing about football, you can always be better the next season So for us it's about making sure the Gaffer Lance is fit as in this year, so we're going to be fitter So we need to work harder, we'll be good to go in five weeks time Brilliant, who's going to be doing the, you know, the drill session later on? I don't know if Mick said to you Are we some... You've just said to me that he's not, <laughs> a little bit of on my shoulders um, But I'll, I'll set up a drill bother Brilliant, excellent, cheers Southie Cheers mate, top man First of all, Fergie, introduce yourself. Hiya, I'm Scott Ferguson, striker for Tarvo. Look at that. Hiya. Hiya, so nice. It's posh accent. <laughs> right, so on you go, tell us what we're going to do. So, obviously there's five different shots we're going to get here, okay? So we're going to start in the middle, and you're going to face the goal, I'm going to throw the ball to the side of you, you're just going to go and hit it, okay? Every time you hit a shot, you're going to come back round me, okay? So I'll take your first shot, you're then going to come back round me, and you're then going to get a ball laid off to Wally Robertson over that corner, you're going to come in, you're going to play it one touch. You're then going to come back round me, okay? You're going to come to this one here, there'll be a ball there. I want you to scoop the ball up to me. I'm going to throw it, you're going to volley it. You're then going to come back around me and you're going to take one of Jamie. Okay, sports science guy over there, Jamie's going to lay one in. First shot, back to me and you're going to run far corner. You're going to do quick feet over. I'm going to throw it to the side, 
you're going to hit it. Oh, Five shots good. and go. Right, Bell, you can go first. You can give me my. Is that your second standard? Ah, yeah, you, we'll see how we go after that. We're going to the second one. <laughs> right, okay, I'll start then. Did Right, so I took a Darvel bung to make sure I can let Scotty lose that. <laughs> Cheers for watching. Cheers, Thank you. Cheers, Hold on, guys. I can't even win one, that. Right, we're well, joined by Mick Kennedy, Darvel manager. Mick, I think you're on a hat trick now for being on the show. I think you, you must be one of the first people to do that. But anyway, I appreciate you bringing us down tonight. The session was excellent, the boys were really sharp. Aye, probably a wee bit sharper than I'd expect us to be at this time so far at pre season, but aye, look, look not right, mate, look not right. Obviously, another four weeks to go before the series stuff starts, so it's just progression, building things up in it. Obviously, you had the disappointment of losing the Trinent game when you would have been favourites to win it and everybody thought you were going to go through. How do you bounce back after it? I, I, I think the league you're in, you have no option but to bounce back. Aye. I think, listen, everybody wanted to go to the Lone League, I don't think there's any doubt about that, but once you get early disappointment, then reality sets in and, and we're fortunate enough to probably been one of the best leagues in the country while in the most competitive league so there's a lot of excitement still in it and you just need to reset and go again and try and win the league again next year that's the chance that lies in front of us uh, the boys done a remarkable job to do it last year when people had wrote us off and probably rightly so for, for the last part of the season but again it's just about resetting being hungry again and having a bit of desire about us to go and try and win the league again You've added a few players into the squad no too many because I think most people agree, you just didn't have to strengthen too much, but you always want to add a wee bit extra quality. How have the new boys settled in? They've settled, settled in really well, obviously. Geyser knows this level really well. We've been at Cook Warren for a number of years, very good, steady left back. He's been an excellent addition. Craig Truesdale, who we got for Rob Roy, been one of the most impressive players in the league last year, I thought. And then, obviously, Ross making the undoubted quality of right back team of the year in League Two. Uh, loads of experience. He's still a great age as well, so I feel they're good additions. Maybe one or two in the next couple of weeks, and all potentially speaking to some other people. But as you're rightly so, mate, with a really strong squad last year, the main thing for us is getting everybody back fit. And I think if we get everybody back fit, then we'll be in a lot better position than we were last season. Well, speaking to Ian McShane, who's obviously got a wee knock, same as well. Same's going to be back a lot faster than I think most people have expected. How's his recovery coming? Aye, really, really good. Listen, one thing we do here well, the club days, is we look after people. So, his, his recovery, the support he said when I bought him, he said some of the best support in the country in terms of specialists and stuff like that. He sees people on a regular basis. I mean, top professional surgeons and uh, for the physios and the other support staff that support them back. So, that's helped in his recovery. He should be back mid September, probably, uh, playing. So, aye, that's been remarkable. But again, it's down to how well the club have looked after him and also the commitment that Dave has put in his end to get back fit. Look. Again, I really appreciate you coming down. I thought the standard was top draw and I really enjoyed watching you. All the best for the rest of the season, mate. Cheers, Thanks mate. Good seeing you as always. Thanks a lot, mate. Well, that's another vlog done. Thanks for watching. Um, try not to slag me too much for that. No the drill. I didn't want to embarrass Scott Ferguson there. I, I thought it was bad and embarrassing enough that he only scored one. So I thought I would be nice and no score any. So uh, Fraser Reid 
do not say a word. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It was really good being done. The standard was incredible. Isn't it? I really, I've seen Davo play obviously a couple of times and they're a good side, but I did not expect the standard training to be that good, particularly so early in the season. I know they've only had a couple of weeks off, but aye, it was excellent. So, thanks for uh, Darvo for all your hospitality there, Mick. Thanks for helping us out. Southie, thanks for doing the drill for us. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good week.